Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's Kefalos here and today we are going to be continuing our Mass Factory playthrough here on the channel. So as usual, if you guys are going to enjoy it, you know what to do. Leave a like, hit that big red sub button down below. I'll be grateful and appreciative of your support. But most importantly, if you subscribe, you won't miss when I upload the next video here on the channel. So with that being said, let's quickly jump right back into it. And um, what we're going to be doing today is we are just going to continue our... Um, Conquest, I guess. I'm not really sure what's the correct term. Um, basically, we're just gonna we're here to help Arya take over Omega. Um, it's uh, it's it's part of a DLC pack. Um, she's ba basically she's lost the space station, and we're here to help her uh, take it back. Yada yada. Um, I'm not gonna try to you know I'm not gonna constantly repeat um, what this entire DLC is about. I think uh, some of you who are you know returning viewers might uh, not be too pleased with that. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut the chase and just get direct to it so um pretty much yeah we're gonna help aria and in order to do so we're gonna have to speak with her so let's go ahead and interact with her real quick and see what she wants talk to me as i've located the source that's powering the cerberus force fields yes i see shepherd take a look at this the general is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of omega's mines unfortunately access is cut off by the force fields themselves not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please. You didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. I don't care if you hate her, just as long as you obey my orders. I see you two went to the same charm school. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. <laughs> All right. Uh, I really like the renegade lines in this game. Scouts, um, ready to go. I, I've said this a couple of times, but yeah, the, the, the renegade lines are always very, very good. Okay, so anyway, we are going to have to meet the Arya here, I believe. Um, I think Nyreen also has something to, uh, you know, want, has something to say to us, basically. We have to speak to her at this point. Not really sure, but uh, you know what, let's just find out together. Shepard, got a second? How coincidental, I actually do. I wanted to <laughs> come speak with you anyway. So, um, let's see what she wants. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. I've heard you, Nyreen. At the end of the day, that's all I can ask. I'll be ready. Alright, I guess that's about it. So, at this point, we are able to head out and start the next mission, but um, just a quick one. So, some of you who are, I believe, uh, uh, you know, playing along with this in, you know, in Mass Factory or Mass Factory uh, Legendary Edition, what you'll want to do is you'll want to speak to, um, to you'll want to speak to that Elcor over there. Um, I did this in the previous episode already, so yeah, I'm not going to do it again, obviously. Uh, just a quick one, just a brief one in case you might have forgot. Um, you might want to speak to that Elcor there before you go, because that uh, unlocks a side quest that, uh, an assignment I should say. That um, for this next uh, next next uh, length of the mission, um, yeah. So if if you don't do it now, you're gonna miss it. So yeah, that's basically it. Okay. Um, regardless, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out the door. I believe this should be it. This is the site we have to go to. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's hit leave area and let's go. We're 
arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No. You had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. Okay, so here we are in the um, I don't know the base, um, the underbelly, I guess, of this uh, of, of Omega. So what we're gonna do first is uh, we are gonna give uh, squad powers to ourselves first. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna assign Cryo to Nyrene and uh, Arya Cryo ammo. So we are gonna take warp ammo ourselves and let's just uh, proceed on ahead, investigate this place a bit. Looks like a bloody bloodbath here. Um, a very interesting choice of words to do. Bloody bloodbath. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna move on now. Um, you know what, let's just take it slow. I'm gonna try to tone down the commentary as well. I just wanna try to maintain this, uh, what appears to be a very, very spooky setting, a spooky surrounding, spooky mood as well. Taking a look at this, I think this is some sort of, um, according to what Arya said, some sort of uh, um, element zero processing plant or something. So, yeah, uh, looks like a mining facility, I guess. Um, underneath Omega, it says investigate. Okay, nothing here. More corpses though. I think we can sprint up ahead. Shouldn't be a problem. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I've got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be quiet. An adjutant. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. I wonder if you guys caught that. Um, <laughs> it was quick, it was brief, it was uh, relatively fast. Um, something jumped across over there. Uh, <laughs> not sure if you guys caught that, but I sure did. So, um, I guess we're not alone then. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out for stuff. Um, let's just, uh, you know, just <laughs> explore our own pace. I want to see if there are any loot that we can uh, procure as well, so that uh, we can just, you know, save up on some credits without uh, having the need to purchase them. Let's just uh, take a look and see. I think that's where we have to head, but um, let's check out this area first. I don't think there's anything here, though. Nothing of interest, but um, yeah, I'm just still going to check it out. Okay, looks clear. Nothing here as well. Alright, I think this is where we have to go. Um, I think so, at least. Right? The elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. These pipes power the door. We should follow them. Alright. So I guess we're gonna head up here then. Okay, I, I, I thought that was something over there. <laughs> okay. Um, up this ladder, I guess. Nyrene said to follow the pipes, right? The yellow pipes. Is there anything here, though? No. Doesn't look like it. Right? Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Need to find the power breaker. Follow the pipe. Copy that. <coughs> gonna extend over there so we're gonna hop across oh. oh okay that was just the light I thought there was something there <laughs> okay um, maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds don't kid yourself I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers Sounds like Marine seen seen her fair share, so <laughs> I guess we're just gonna follow her then. Follow her lead. Oh, I'm gonna take the lead. 
Ooh, some credits. All right, that's good. Get uh, 1.5k out of that. I'm not sure if you can. I'm not sure if you caught that, guys. Um, I've said this a couple of times in this series. Uh, my face cam is on the top right, so you either block out that side or you block out the bottom right, and you know, um, either the either orientation is gonna block out um alert. Um, the bottom right, the block, the bottom right is gonna block out some weapons mods and upgrades and stuff. Um, the top right is gonna block out the credits and experience. It's a compromise. So, um, enough rambling. Let's uh, head into this spooky uh, chamber, I guess. Down this ladder. Okay, hold your horses a bit. Um, checking it out. It's clear. Let's head down. I don't like this. This looks very, very uh, kill boxy. I'd say <laughs> we look trapped inside here. If anything goes bad. Um, okay, so I guess this is where we have to fiddle with, I think. There's the power control. Alright, so when I reactivate this, I think we're gonna get jumped. Um, I have a weird feeling we're gonna get jumped, because this really looks like a kill box, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just be careful. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! <laughs> Unload on it! Nairi, wake up! I hate those things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. All right. So I guess we're gonna go now. Um, so yeah, that was an adjutant. Um, <laughs> yeah, normally, normally those things are much more scary on higher difficulties. Um, to tell you the truth, um, I am playing on casual because we are focusing on the narrative aspect of the game. I'm not really gonna be too concerned about the, you know, um, you know, about whether how exciting um, firefights are gonna be. So yeah, I'm focusing on the narrative aspect, which is why we are playing on casual. So it's much more easier to handle these guys. But if you are playing on, you know, hard, you know, on hard or insanity, um, you are. Are gonna be in for a hell of a fight that's what i can guarantee you so um regardless we are gonna head through this door um let's see what's behind here i think more tangles more enemies more of those adjutants i think okay i feel like we're gonna get jumped here Like I said, it's easier on lower difficulties, and besides, we have the N7 Typhoon, so it's yeah, a very overpowered weapon against uh, a very weak enemy. Right, I think we're here to. Um, we have to activate the elevator here or something. Shepard, right. look alive! More adjectives! can't let them escape! Oh, okay, all right. Thanks, Aria. <laughs> okay. I think we got them all. Let's try the elevator again. Stay alert. All right. So let's hit this elevator. All right, into the elevator. I'll see right. the door. Just in case. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> We're gonna now. Wait, hold on. Um, what is that? Um, I saw something over there. Oh, come on! No, I can't get that already. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a data pad. Okay, so it's some credits, I believe, right? No, it's just some notice or something. 
Damn, I can't. I didn't realize this. Um, I've never had to backtrack this particular segment. Um, I didn't realize that once it's head in, you can't head back out. Thank God it's just nearby. If not, <laughs> and it, it just provided some piece of useless information. I thought it was some credits or weapons, but uh, yeah, if I couldn't have access to that, I'd be so pissed if I am being honest. Um, okay, so we are gonna head down on this elevator and see where this takes us, but we're probably gonna leave the next bit for the next episode. So. Um, we're gonna do that first, see where this heads, and then I'll end the video there. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If you'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we deal with it. Some uh, brave words, I guess, from Shepard. I hear the drills. Damn it! They shouldn't be straining like. That. Cerberus must be working them hard. Right, so it looks like we are at the next level, which is the mining complex, but unfortunately we are running out of time, so yeah, we are gonna end the video here. Um, so yeah, with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Mass Effect 3, and if you did, you know what to do, leave a like, hit that big red sub button down below, so you don't miss when I upload the next video here on the channel. And uh, yeah, this is Kevlo signing off, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.